Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. All right, folks. I know, I have a mustache now, oh, yeah. just deal with it, okay? It's been equally hard for me. Every day I wake up, you know, I'll have a missed call from like GQ, Men's Health, Sports Illustrated, the swimsuit edition, they'll be like, hey, we, we gotta get you on the front page, buddy. We gotta put you up front with that awesome, sexy mustache. And I'm like, hold on, you want me in a swimsuit? And they're like, no, 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 no. We just want this part in a two-piece bikini, so. Okay, let's talk about what this video is actually about. Ever since this quarantine started, uh, my admiration and respect for, you know, service workers, people in the service industry, like, you know, grocery stores, fast food places, my respect for them has gone up by like a million. I mean, I don't know what the number of respect I was at before, but I know that it went up by a uh, by exactly 1 million. So yeah, uh, if you are watching this and you, you do work at a grocery store, fast food place like that, thank you. We respect you, we love you, and we'd literally die without you, so thank you. And I hope this increased admiration is the case for everybody because before the quarantine, people did not respect service workers, like at all. Like flipping burgers or like stocking shelves was always used as like an insult towards someone, which never really made sense to me. I never really understood that, you know? Like someone will just be like, okay, whatever, one day I'll be working on Wall Street and you're gonna be flipping burgers at McDonald's, see ya. Where are you going? McDonald's. Like criticizing someone's job and then depending on that job to get through your day? Very weird to me, doesn't make any sense. That's like if you were to chop down a tree and then continue to breathe oxygen. Oh wait, <gasps> we already fucking do that. Like and comment to stop global warming. <laughs> but like this hatred and superiority towards people in the service industry has always been a thing and I've experienced it firsthand. I used to flip burgers and stock shelves. Not at the same time. Like, like they were they were two separate jobs. <laughs> That'd be really impressive though. Excuse me. Huh? Where are the kidney beans? Oh, that's aisle 7. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. But no, I used to work at McDonald's. I also worked at a uh, Canadian grocery store chain. And I also worked at a bar in Toronto. And at every single one of those jobs, customers treated me like dog shit. Not even, not even dog shit. Dog shit at least gets picked up in a nice cozy little warm bag. I was treated like the piano from Big. Uh, just people stomping all over me and just people watching, not not really doing anything about it. Quick story, one time when I was working at uh, the bar, this one guy got i uh, insanely drunk at like 8 p.m. Like, like the most blackout I've ever seen a man. So yeah, I was standing there, you know, just working. This drunk guy, he came up to me and shoved me a bit. And he said, I bet I could kick your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. So my manager kicked this guy out. On his way out, when he was on the other side of a busy Toronto street, he threw a golf ball at me. I don't I don't even know why he had just one golf ball in his cargo shorts. I don't even think the courses were open at this time of year. I feel like that one golf ball was just part of his going out belongings. Hurry up, man, we gotta get going. Babes are waiting. Hold on, hold on. I got my phone, wallet, keys. Yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, forgot my golf ball. I'm gonna throw this at Curtis later. Who's Curtis? I don't know yet. Okay. Oh yeah, do you know what time the bar's closed tonight? Oh yeah. Four. Ow! I've just never understood being mean to people in the service industry, right? Like, especially people who are handling your food? Are you crazy? And I've seen it so many times. Another story. When I was working at Starbucks, there was this girl, middle-aged woman who would come in every day. We'll call her Karen. I don't know if that was her name, but she wasn't Karen about how we felt about anything. She came in every day and ordered a grande, half sweet, lactose free, no foam, 180 degree chai latte every single day, okay? And I remember that order because she was so particular down to the fucking degree that the drink was. And yeah, one day she came in, my coworker was making her drink, she messed up, there was a bit of foam on top and this lady yelled at her and made her cry over a beverage. And she was like, yeah, put the, yeah, make sure you catch the tears and put them in my drink. I like my chai extra salty. She didn't say that, but I, I feel like she wanted to. But isn't that insane? I understand wanting a drink a certain way. You pay for it, right? You should get what you want. But it's just so easy to not be a motherfucker about it. Just chill, man. It's all good. I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I've worked these jobs before, so I know what it's like. 
but like if I, if I ordered a latte and I saw a barista like sneeze and they put a fat loogie like it fell into my latte, I'd apologize to them. Clearly something I'm doing is making them sneeze. I'm sorry, I'll leave. A server could punch me in the balls over and over again. Like, <laughs> like one of those, the little punching bags that boxers use and they go like that. If that was my ball sack and they punched me a bunch. All good, I'm still tipping 20%, bro. You're probably just having a bad day. So today we're gonna look at some videos of people who are, you know, either rude or disrespectful or like pranking some of these uh, uh, people in the service industry, like people who work at fast food places and um, like grocery stores and stuff. And we're gonna make fun of them because it's annoying and they deserve it. So most of these videos are like drive-through pranks and don't get me wrong, I love a good prank. And I'm sure people have been doing silly things in drive throughs forever, but I feel like coning was the thing that kind of, you know, propelled it into the, like the mainstream, right? You guys remember that shit? People would go through a drive through and then they would they'd be like, hey, can I have one ice cream cone? And then when they got to the window, they'd pick it up from the ice cream side and you go, it, it's funny. It's not where you're supposed to grab it from. Uh, but now fast forward like 10 years, drive through pranks are all over YouTube and they're not all bad. I wanna show you like, this is the gold standard of drive through pranks. Like this is the only good one. It's, it's this one where the guy dresses up as a car seat and he drives through the drive through to make it seem like there's nobody driving the car. That's great. It's creative, it's funny, the employees like it, great. Good job. Chef's kiss. I'm gonna make out with a chef because of that. Get those lips ready, Gordon Ramsay. Papa's coming. Mm. But let's get a little a little worse. This vid these videos aren't necessarily bad at all, but they're, they're not good either. So there's this trend on YouTube where people will go through a drive-through and they'll sing their order. Like there's this video called singing my Starbucks order for a week, which is kind of weird wording. <laughs> I'm just picturing them like sitting in a drive-thru for a week straight for seven days straight. No sleeping, no pooping or shitting. Uh, Cause those are different things. What the fuck? There's a lot of these videos, but there's like one creator who makes a lot of these videos. So I thought we'd watch some of those. Can I get a pink drink? No berries and light ice, please. I need a venti coffee with some espresso. Can I get a black tea? Just one pump of classic, please. Oh, and a grande green tea, frappuccino. Wow. Ooh. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good one. Thanks, you <laughs> too. Bye. Bye. That was so good. <laughs> Dude, I just, I love the barista's reaction so much to that. Cause you know, you know, as soon as they drove away, that barista did the fattest eye roll of all time. <laughs> Can I get an iced coffee with cream please? And a venti pink drink with no berries. Oh, I need a blonde double shot. Yeah, that's all I want. Oh wait, I need a green tea and I need a tall dragon drink. That's perfect. Okay. so. What I don't get is that they have their order already. Like the, the baby in the back has a cake pop. They have like drinks and stuff. They're not singing their order. They're singing an order. That's weirder than singing your actual order. It's to just order your order. And then when you get your order, you're like, hey, can I can I sing you a different order for my ding tock? Thank you. Am I just an asshole? Like what, it, it, is that it? Like, I just don't know the intended reaction, you know? Like how, what does she want me to do? Like when I write and film and edit my videos, I I want I want people to laugh or go like, Ew. you know, that that's all I want. I don't know what they expect us to do when we watch this video. Can oh. I get on number yeah. one? Yes! With lemonade oh. and some Chick-fil-A sauce oh, and a spicy oh, wow. salad. And Ep one oh, epic song. Epic, epic <laughs> vocal chords. Yeah. Hurrah! Okay, let's, let's watch another one. And could you please hold the sweetener? Almond milk instead of cream. I just need a dragon drink with light ice and no berries. One nitro cold brew. All I want at Starbucks is you. Man, this is a Starbucks drive-thru. So very funny while this this great song is happening, that dog is just like, yeah! People seem to like it, dude. I'm just gonna start singing to every worker that I see. Next time the garbage man comes around, I'll be on my front lawn in a full gown, <laughs> serenading him. Yoo-hoo, garbage man. 
Garbage man, please take my trash with you, please. I'm sorry that it is so very stinky. But please take away my banana peels and discarded meals. Yeah, you're made of garbage, cause you are the garbage man. The last part was kind of mean, but all right. Thank you so much, thank you. I know these videos are harmless and I know there's a lot worse things you can be doing, but it just makes me so uncomfortable because like, I'm just picturing myself in the barista's position and that's my nightmare. We're all different. Maybe someone would really like this, but if this was me, if I was still working at Starbucks and someone just sang to me, oh my God, I, I'd, I'd move. I'd fucking, I'd move, I'd move cities. I don't care what I have going on or what responsibilities I have where I live, I'm gone. Okay, I'm getting a little stick with, with, a, ba with a bag on the end putting over my shoulder and I'm walking. That performance was so moving, so I'm moving. Like just order your drinks and go, that's it. That's all I gotta do. Like imagine what it'd be like being the person behind this girl in the drive-thru. I just took wow. a really early this is great. I'm gonna need some ice. What the hell's going no on up there? Can a dash of heavy cream. Can you please make that a is she singing? Bling, bling, She's singing her order right now. Can you keep it going? I, got, I gotta I get to work. I have to get to work. I'm very late already. I need my coffee. Can you stop singing, please? Oh, looks like the guy behind you really likes it. You know what that means. Sing the order for a week straight. straight. Take it away. No. Looks like I'm going to be late to work. Where the hell is Curtis? This fire isn't going to fight itself. This is terrible. This is the worst fire I've ever seen. I smell the horror. The horror. In the grand scheme of things, she's got a great voice and more confidence than I'll ever have in my entire life. So good for her. Great, keep doing it. Or don't. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. We're gonna talk about someone who really just rubs me the wrong way. I mean, if you're gonna rub me, rub me the right way. This guy is on TikTok. His name is Fukjashi. I know Leon Lush made a, a great video about this guy recently. So, you know, go watch that if you want the full scoop. This Joshy guy had a video that went pretty viral where he dumped a bucket of milk and cereal on a busy subway and then didn't clean it up. So obviously, huge scumbag making a mess for a TikTok that wasn't even funny and then forcing essential workers to clean it up during a pandemic. Say it with me, fuck you. So we already know this guy has shit for brains, but what's even worse is that after like this whole thing, there was so much press about it, he hasn't changed his content at all. He made one like half-assed apology and just was like, okay, back to ignorant pranks now. And what's even worse is like he's proud of this shit, man. He like plays into it. He's like, yeah, I'm the worst. Everyone hates me. All my videos are bad. First of all, I'm not funny. Dude, just because you acknowledge that your videos are bad doesn't make them less bad. You're just admitting that you know what you're doing is wrong and you continue to do it, which is like the definition of evil, I think. This guy's evil. He's an evil guy. He had one video where he put down a bunch of like paper towels to step on in a grocery store because he didn't want to get his shoes dirty. He had a video where he tried to microwave a frozen pizza in a Target using their supplies. And he also apparently had a subway shut down because he brought a live chicken into it and told him to cook it and put it on a sandwich. And he was like proud of that too. Fucking super cool flex, bro. Yeah, I got a bunch of people fucking fired, bro. <laughs> they're, and their families are gonna go hungry now, but not as hungry as I am for likes and attention. And I know I'm giving this dude exactly what he wants right now because all he wants is attention, obviously. So whatever you do, please don't go to his profile. Don't watch his videos. Don't give him views. And definitely don't don't watch the video of him when he was doing stand up on Kill Tony and uh, he bombed like really, really hard, nobody laughed at him. Uh, thanks guys. That And that video link may or not may not be in the video description. Please, please don't watch that video. That was Josh Popkin. If you're wondering who the laughter was, that was Josh Popkin as well. I was just so angered by these videos because like here are people working minimum wage jobs to make sure that you have fucking food to eat. And he comes in, he's like, hey, do you mind if I boil these hot dogs in a bucket of my own piss? And then I film it? Is that cool? I mean, thank God all the like comments on his videos are like negative and nobody wants him to keep doing what he's doing. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna look at one more video to wrap up this whole thing. And it's 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 pretty wild. It's from Familia Diamond uh, and it's called Prisoner drive Through Prank. So let's watch the intro to that video. Lady, the money. 
tell me where's the money? Think twice if you're okay. Wait, they might be calling the cops if they're taking a long time. I think they're calling the cops. <laughs> no. Holy shit. Quite the change in moods there, huh? I think they're calling the cops. That's a weird thing about these family vlog channels. Like no matter what the video is about, no matter how serious it is, no matter what it is, they have the exact same like upbeat intro for every single thing. <sighs> okay. All right. Hey Giggins gang. It's Papa Giggins here. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to update you guys. Uh, I wanted to update the Giggins gang on what's going on. As you all know, my wife and our 21 kids were all in a horrific hot air balloon accident. And this has been a tough couple of months, but I have an update uh, for the Giggins gang. This morning, the hospital where my 22 family members are recovering caught fire. And they were unable to extinguish the fire because one of the firefighters was stuck in a Starbucks drive through They told me he was stuck behind some awesome singer, so I get it. But don't worry, Giggins gang, we are the most epic family on YouTube and we will get through this together. My family is fine, they're safe. I think, I actually don't know, they're, they're actually missing right now due to the fact that they were kidnapped right before the hospital fire. So yeah, if you do have any information on my missing family members, I would, I would love that. Please comment below, please send me a message. I miss my family a lot. Okay, I, I need them. And I love them. And I just, I just want them back. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into the video. Fam, 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 family fun time. Look at us, we're a family. Family, fam, fam, all the time. Here we go, we're a family. Come along, we're a family. We're never gonna go missing. We are a big family, and we're staying together all the time. We're not afraid of hot air balloons, cause we are a big family. Family, fam, family, family time. Okay, let's, let's get into the video. So the video starts with the couple explaining the premise of the prank, and then they tell us to like the video because... Give this video a big thumbs up before we get started because the cops can come. That's scary, oh my god. Makes sense. So they go to the first location, and they totally prank this dude so hard. Oh, hey man. How you been? She's not supposed to talk. Why keep that in the video, dude? Yeah. That's so awkward. I feel bad for these kids, man. What if like, on like, bring your kid to work day? What do, what do these parents do? Strap them to a fucking computer? Like, get it! End of this family vlog, you stupid baby. The man is talking to you. I think she's tired, bruh. Dude, that's, <laughs> that quiet bruh sound effect in the background. Bruh. I'd, I'd like to think that that wasn't edited in. That was just like someone like in the back seat doing all the, the sound effects for them. If you want to say no. Okay, so they go to a bunch of locations and try to prank these employees, but obviously never works because why the fuck would that work? And it's just like, it's just so annoying because like, just, just leave them alone, man. You're just like ruining someone's day who's already probably having a terrible time because they're working 12 hour minimum wage job for your Dumbass to go to the fucking drive through and be like, I'm not in jail anymore, give me sandwich. And if, and they can't be mean, they have to just smile and play along with it because if they don't, they'll probably get in trouble, dude. It's not, uh, like imagine if you did this prank to any other worker, right? Like if you did this to, if you did this prank to a cop, they'd shoot you dead, dude. Well, I mean, you do anything to a cop and they'll shoot you for no reason. So never mind. bad example. I don't know, man. I think we should just leave a service employees alone. Just fucking, Get what you came for, then leave, right? That's the point of the video, I think. Especially right now, dude, like I feel we should be extra patient and kind to essential workers because if they're essential, like they're putting themselves in danger so you can have your spicy Southwest salad. So just be nice to essential workers. And please, for the love of God, do not throw any golf balls at employees. I think that's, that's really the main point of the video. Ow! Okay, well, I think it's safe to say that I will never go through a drive-thru ever again in my entire life. But it's all good because I don't have to. Thanks to this video sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. No grocery stores, no meal planning, just everything you need to prepare delicious meals all delivered right to your door. 
Uh, we've been using HelloFresh for like a while now, and it, it makes me really happy when I see you guys like sending me photos of you, you know, trying out HelloFresh when you use like my code or anything. It's really cool because this is a company like I, I genuinely love, and we eat their food like every single week. So, so it's cool that I get to work with you know such a great company. Are you still not convinced, even though it, it's been like 10 seconds? Well, listen up. It can be easy to get stuck making the same couple of meals over and over again, week after week. I get it. But with HelloFresh, there are tons of recipes to choose from each week to help you get out of that recipe rut. And no matter what your diet is, there's a plan for everybody, including low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes every week. Another great thing about HelloFresh is how flexible they are. If you wanna skip your weekly order for whatever reason, change your delivery days or food preference, add extra meals, it's as easy as going tap, tap, tap on the HelloFresh app. I think now, more than ever, uh, it's important to, uh, to be environmentally conscious. So it's nice knowing that HelloFresh's packaging used to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. Their pre-portioned ingredients means less food waste and HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than that of meals made from store-bought groceries. With what's going on right now with um, the current pandemic, I think it's really important for companies to give back. So I'm happy to say that HelloFresh has donated over two and a half million meals to charity in 2019, and this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. And to make things even better, HelloFresh has cooked up a sweet deal for the citizens of Curtistown. All you have to do is use code 60CURTISTOWN to get $60 off your first three weeks, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. So go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and so many others in the past. Um, I cannot stress enough how much we genuinely love HelloFresh. So I hope you guys check them out. Um, but yeah, that's it. Check the description for all the details. And uh, yeah, thanks again, HelloFresh. Bye bye. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press the like button because the cops might show up. I'm scared, you should like it. And uh, yeah, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you have any uh, horror stories, if you worked in the uh, you know fast food service industry, you know grocery store, anything like that, let me know. Uh, also, don't forget to press the subscribe button uh, because I make a video every single week and they're so much fun. And as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. If you didn't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the entire world and I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. If you want to see the other things I do, you can check the description, my Instagram, Twitter, uh, my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. If you enjoy my videos, you'll enjoy the podcast. Um, you know, it's not in chronological order or anything. You can just kind of, you know, listen wherever. You know, it's me just shooting the shit. It's a good time. Uh, merch down there, Twitch, all that stuff. That's it for the video. I would say more, but I have to go. I have to go lick a bunch of whipped cream out of a little cup. So, bye.